it's been a minute since I have done a kind of decorative planner chat and I figured no time like the present this is a planner that I am going to be redating for my mom I think is that the one that I grabbed I think I grabbed the one that I was redating for my mom because I have two that I'm decorating um, the other one that I actually finished um, it already found a new home so I was happy about that now I just pulled random sticker books I don't know if any of these are still available if they are available I will put links to them uh, this and the all the ones that I pulled right here are a happy planner so this is colorful leopard jungle vibes wild styled and this is the one I just bought um cat and cozy retro sunset and the uh, tiana garcia this one actually matches my planner so <clears throat> i know if you are into dismount planning that you have seen the at least a video or two in regards to um happy planners fall release and that they are now offering a customized planner where you can pick your this your cover I think when you pick your um, when you pick your cover that it comes with a set of dividers that correspond with that when I was looking on the site I didn't see like a section unless I missed it where you could pick your dividers so it was like if you picked um, like the marble cover the dividers would correspond with that. I think the base, if you don't add anything extra, is the $30. I said, that's interesting. I'm sure a lot of people have been asking for the option to customize just because that's that's where we're at right now. Everybody wants to make, you want, you want your planner to be uniquely yours and that is the plus with the dismount system. And I think in this economy, franking planning um, can be costly unless you are really doing it on a budget and really um, like catching everything on sale. Because you also it's also that uh, that wasteful. Like you don't want to be wasteful. And I just thought about it. I didn't grab any date stickers, so pause for the cause. And I think that can be, um, it can be costly, but I think you can do it, um, the franken planning on a budget. I watched a, a, a couple of videos, and I grabbed this book, and it don't even have as many days. As, I'm trying to get through and finish these Agenda 52 books out. Um... I did come across a couple of videos of people showing the planners that they created. And I think it's a great option for me. I just wasn't necessarily fond of some of the covers. And because I'm a baller on a budget, as I like to call it, I, I, I feel like for me, I do better with buying the planners on clearance and maybe taking the discs off like um when the deluxe planners are on clearance i like to pick them up or any of the happy boxes that are on clearance because those usually have the metal discs i prefer the metal discs but i don't want to you know for the price what are metal discs or what like 15 dollars so if I can buy a happy box for 20, get the planner, the disc that I want, and you know, some other items. Now granted, all of the other items I may not like, but that's where sharing with your planner friends or Poshmark comes in. And a part of me is feeling like I should have whited those out, but I, I do like the option for people who don't want to stalk anything. They want to make their planner 
the way they wanted one big swoop. I did see that they gave you the option to add um, extensions. I think what was this for six months? So that was that was that was a plus. And I think for those of us who I don't want to say those of us because I feel like I'm the only person who swaps out <laughs> layouts every so often. But for me, I like having the ability to, depending on what's going on in my life, I like having the ability to, if I need to, swap between a dashboard and, you know, maybe a productivity layout. And right, and I've come to the realization vertical with no lines, layouts, or I enjoy those for decorating, and that's pretty much it. I don't feel like they are conducive to my planning style, but you know, to each their own. So, but the productivity layout and the dashboard layout probably are my. Um, favor two. Now I'm hoping, because I, as I said, yeah, I've seen some gold in here. So I'm like, I'm hoping I can bring some of that gold in. I see that's the plus about having the, <clears throat> the larger days of the weeks is that you can just cover the number in the day all at one time in one full swoop. But and I noticed that a lot of people were not too happy with Happy Planner because the sticker books in the planners did not print with the names on there. So you were kind of left going back to the website to figure out what the name of the sticker book or the planner was and then having to write it on the brim yourself which I mean it's not a big deal but I get the I understand the inconvenience of it if you're used to things being a certain way most definitely um, that's what you want because that's what that's what you expect like that's just what it is but I don't know and I I'm not an Aaron conjuring user um, I've purchased I purchased a cover from Erin Condren and realized that I didn't I've never even used the cover um yeah it I don't know I'm not real big on spirals it just didn't call out to me and I will I will be um completely transparent I felt like for what I was getting at that price point I think I just expected a little bit more. When you start moving into like that sixty and like sixty and seventy dollar range for a planner, I'm just I, I'm just expecting a whole lot more than what I felt like it was given. And you know, again, no shade. I know that there are people out there. <coughs> Who love Erin Condren it just wasn't for me it just wasn't my cup of tea I wasn't um I wasn't completely drawn to it now I will say it was one layout that I think that she released this year that did have me kind of thinking about maybe picking one up and testing it out but again the price point I needed to I need to find it on sale and I know I shouldn't be like that because the price is the price, but listen, no, I'm going to be honest. I, I, need, I need it to be on sale. I need the sale price. I'm on a coupon. Um, that's why I say I am probably <laughs> the, pers the customer that um, a lot of these brands probably hate because I will stalk an item until it goes on sale like nobody's business like that i am one of them <laughs> i will i will wait until i see it go down and then i'm like boom i got it that's, that's exactly what i'm looking for but 
I know. We shouldn't be like that. Now, there are most definitely certain items that I do, um, whatever the price is, I'm purchasing it because I really want it. But I feel like with me, with planners and the stash of planners that I currently have, that that just ain't one of them things. All right, let me pull some days of the weeks. I don't think I had any that were pink left. But I also feel like every month there is a new release. Or is that just me? Is, am I the only person that feels like every month there is a new release of some kind? And I think it's very easy to get overwhelmed with all of the options, I think. Sometimes having all of the options can be overwhelming. Because we do. We want to try all of the things because we feel like we're missing out or maybe there is something I'd use to, there's something out there that I could use to plan better. And true, I, what I've been really coming to grips with is that it's not necessarily about planning more. It's about planning better. And it's about um really the execution because if we want to be honest we can take a notebook and plan and be good with just that oh that's going to be really tight that's the only thing when you get into these double digits huh but we want that does not really match. But we gonna we gonna we gonna figure it out. We are gonna figure out how to bring it all together. Um, <coughs> it's it's wanting it all the things and feeling like we need all of the things. And I've even I have most definitely been guilty with that. And I am working on that. Um. Especially when it comes to, for me, like the sticker books and really um, reeling it in and just deciding like, hey, what's in this sticker book that's different than any of the other sticker books that I have? And those items that are different, am I going to use them? Because let's be real a lot of these sticker books are starting to become super repetitive and I'm not a dot person I don't need two or three the easiest way to get me not to um, buy a book is if I see it's three or four pages of dots no thank you I am passing on that book immediately because now I got two two to four pages that I know I'm not going to use I know I'm not going to use them. And I'm stuck with trying to be creative with the dots. And it's like, uh, I don't know if I really want to do that kind of thing. I wonder what it's fit. And it will. But that's just me personally. I know a lot of people love the dots and the checklist just not my thing a lot of times like these checklists on here i'm thinking in my head now how can i use them as a decorative item to um so i can go ahead and get rid of them and use them on here what do we got And it's weird because I got animal print. I got the girl up there. But we're we going to bring it all together. We are going to bring it all together. I feel like I want to put... I need to put a quote up there to cover up that 2023. I say hello 
beautiful weekend. Plan on it. Loving this. There we go. And sometimes, we, and I, I always have to remember that, hey, just because you've been doing this planner thing for however long you've been doing it, there are most definitely people who are new to it. So a lot of those drops and things, I feel like are probably for them. I feel like the people who've been doing this planning thing for, I don't know, because in some ways I still consider myself a newbie, but I think after, I don't know, after maybe like a year or two, you start to feel like, or maybe it's just me, I started feeling like I have seen all that I needed to see to know which, um, like what brands were the ones that I really enjoyed and what I'm really looking for. I become a paper snob. Um... <clears throat> The Happy Planner paper is okay, but when I tell you that gold mine and cocoa paper, that's what made me become a paper snob because now I'm expecting that type of paper from everybody. And I realized that yesterday's price is not today's price and things are a bit more expensive. And with all of the options that a lot of these companies provide, I recognize that um, it may be an unrealistic thing, but yeah, I, they made me paper snobs. I was like, ooh, how heavy? I'm just like, paper comes this heavy? You don't know until you know. <laughs> how people say that there. You don't know until you know. And now that I know I am judgy as all can be on people paper, I'm like, you want $60? And this paper feel like this but I've also um, I'm also able to recognize that everybody has their own unique style but when it comes I don't my mom is not exercising I don't even know why I pulled that exercise thing off let's do the remember because I'm like yeah let's not even lie to ourselves and I'm trying to leave her space she writes smaller than I do so I feel like she'll be okay with the amount of space that I am leaving her but just to be on the safe side I feel like this is March going into April I, I don't know what made me pull out all of these um, jungle themed pages but let's do the seas. I like the seas today. And I bought a book that has um, days of the week in there because I knew I was running out. And I don't know why I didn't grab it, but I don't know. And you can look at these and tell these are the older dashboard layouts. I don't know. I don't necessarily have an issue with the four squares. I do recognize how a lot more a lot of people like the one long box on the left side. And I think playing with the um, the layout was a good idea. Now a lot of people were upset about the checklist on the horizontal. I, I'm, I don't know if I want to say this out loud or not because I don't want y'all to come for me, but I actually thought it was neat. <laughs> Excuse me. That they had put the um, checklist on the horizontal because I think a lot of people use the horizontal but aren't necessarily sure on how to make the horizontal work for them. And why did I grab the book with the least amount of kits in it? Of course. Of course, that is what I would do. 
But I I don't know. I thought that adding the the checklist on the horizontal was a good idea. I I I understood I guess how it made sense. Now I will say that uh, I watched somebody's video who uses a mini horizontal, and that I was like, yeah, we wouldn't have put the checklist on there. I was like, it's so small that you really don't have that much space to really write anything else. I'm like the the mini is small as it is. So I'm like adding in the um the checklist boxes. I was like, yeah, I, I, from that point of view, I can understand why the people why the people are a little bit perturbed with it. But that goes back to if you like a layout, either the undated version of that layout or buying it, um, the 18 month account, um, 18 month planners, as of late, those have been my go to. Especially once they start marking them down when the new releases start coming out, because then that way it's like I still have the rest of this year. And I have a full planner for next year. Cause truth be told, I was going through my planners that I purchased and that I've kind of been pulling stuff out of. The ones that are, I think I have three that are dated. And they're all 18 months. So I do have the months for this year, but I also have the full year for next year. And I'm like, between all of them, I should be good. I just need to figure out um, cover-wise, disc-wise, how I'm going to make that work. So I need to put something there and there to cover up those two. But, yeah. And the, the FOMO is still real. We want the new, the new, new the shiny things. And I'm like, that is the plus of um, the dismount system is being able to take things apart. So that's what I was trying to explain to my girlfriend because I did pick her up a, um, cause she uses a big, I picked her up an 18 month um, planner. And I thought I was like, listen, if you're not gonna use the six months, you can go ahead and give me them six months and I can just decorate them and I use them as videos or give them away. But um, I was on, I was like, if you want to still keep with the gold theme, then just take the cover from your planner from this year and the disc and put the disc in the cover from the planner I just bought you on your old one. Cause she's still deciding on whether or not she wants to keep them. And I'm like, if you decide to keep them, yeah, just swap out. I was like, yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It's a little time consuming. But that way you're not going out and running and buying a brand new one. When you already have a cover that you can use at home. So, but that's just my stance on it. I'm like, that is the plus of using the discount system. Because I'm not alive for a while, for the longest time, I did not keep my um, planners. I'm trying to think, was last year, the first year, last year, the year before last, the first year that I decided to actually keep them. Because I was like, okay, the year is over. I'm done. I don't need to, I don't know if I necessarily need to reflect back on anything. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, let's be done, <laughs> be done, kind of thing. So, but those are always uh, things to consider and to think about because I believe planning should not um, break the bank, we should not be going in debt um, over our hobby or you know, lifestyle, that's, that's not okay, by, by no means. And everything is not for everybody in every season. 
there are some luxury planner stationery companies that I see that drop items and I'm like, oh, they are really nice. I like that. But I also know like, oh, this is a no spend week for me. So guess what I'm not doing? That, I'm, it's, yeah, it's just, sometimes we have to be able to say, I'm gonna have to enjoy that from a distance. I'm gonna live vicariously through y'all posting all of y'all wonderful items and let me know how it works for you. And then the petty part of me is also like, how much of that stuff is going to end up sitting on a shelf somewhere? Okay, that's money stuff. She's not gonna use that. I feel like I wanna put something else. Let's put this, put your heart into it. Um, but yeah. And then I, I said that I'm only going to be making one planner related purchase a month. And I still haven't said, <coughs> I said I was going to start doing just one planner purchase per month and then just setting a budget for it because I have, I have to get through the things that I currently have like stickers aren't going to be sticky forever um, I have a, a ton of extra planner pages and the ones I'm less concerned about the ones that are undated that's also another thing I am very much leaning into if if I can't find an 18 month do you have it undated and truth be told a part of me prefers the undated version because I feel like I have more um more time and more leeway to to those versus having to y'all as y'all see I don't have a problem covering things up but there are most definitely days where it's like I don't feel like it. Like, I don't want to have to do that. So, the undated ones definitely come in handy in regards to that. But, and I am, because my goal was not to, I have the, like, the rolling cart from Michaels, and I am pretty much almost at capacity with that rolling part and that starts to I don't want to say I don't want to use the word anxiety but it it makes me be like okay are we just buying way too many things and not getting through the things that we currently have but I do feel like this um like decorating a planner for my mom does help decorating the planner and being able to um provide that to someone else is something else i'm also thinking about but i don't want to have to where's the girls at i don't want to have to mix and match months and i know it's hard to be like you got to take these 12 months the way that i have them on the layout that i have them like i don't want to be like, I don't want to get to the point where it's like, oh, I'm taking January from this one, February from that one. And then the other thing I was thinking is just decorate the months and have somebody um, and people can pick their 12 months and build a planner like that, but you would have to buy 12 months. I don't know, I'm still working on it because I do, because I know that there are going to be layouts or uh, this that I'll probably want and so then it's like, okay, but you still have all these other planners up there and the more I get into using my planners, 
and really redefining what I'm what my new planner style is and what I'm planning for. <coughs> Excuse me. It helps me determine um, which layouts really work. So right now, dashboard and the productivity layout, which is similar to the old goals layout, are the two that I'm enjoying the most. I have the planner for the wellness layout, and it was okay. I'm using that one currently. And I chose to use it this month for because I was taking a vacation. But now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, I probably should have picked a different month um, to test it out. Probably a month where I was going to be doing more things. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But right now, the dashboard and the productivity layout, those two are like my go-to right now. I feel like she is leaning in a lot. All right. So let's put our days of the week down and see if we can find some headers. So this video ended up being extremely long with my whole rant about FOMO, planner layouts, paper quality. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to make sure we can cut these down just a little bit more. But hey, let me know in the comments. Do you guys like the chatty videos while I'm decorating? Or do you prefer the music? Or do you like a kind of a mashup of both of them together? This was a great way to actually use some of the planner items that I have and to use a lot of the stickers that I have. So I implore you, if you have a friend who is getting into planning or you got a planner buddy out there or you just know somebody who might need one, a new mom or something, and you have a ton of planner supplies, I think this is a great way to use the things. So we're also not being completely wasteful in using the things and being helpful at the same time. But if you guys like the decorative videos where I'm going on a tangent is what I'm going to call it, or if you prefer the music, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Editing is something I'm still working on, but this was fun. And I do enjoy doing this for my mom because one, it kind of keeps her on track and it helps me help her stay on top of a lot of the things that she needs to get done. Mostly medical things. My mom is retired. But thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate you. Peace and blessings to you all.